<laughs> Lovely, John, mate. Just tricked you there. That's got to be with you, especially on the time of the drive. Oh, and this is why I don't have you left. Especially when I don't have you left. Oh, Jesus. Good afternoon, people. It's PJT, rate my beer. You're not going to introduce me, are you? No. <laughs> I'm Michelle, for anyone that doesn't know. They all know you. You're Cheeky. a well-known figure on social media. Anyway, we're bringing you two French beers. Uh, well, two French whip beers. Well, one's a Blanche from Jade, and one's Eisweizen, or Eisen, mm. is it? which is, I've never tried any of these. They were dropped off by a associate of mine, Mr. Rosendale. I do thank you, Jamie, for that. Thank you. I've never tried either of them. I've not actually heard of them. But he picked them up when he got me some uh, Cronenberg Blanc, because you know we've just brought that to the channel, well, a few times recently. And the other Cronenberg that we got ourselves imported, didn't we? And Indeed. we just did Cronenberg Gold, which Jamie presented to us, which is an absolute stunner. But, 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 but. These are not so well known, but we've given them a Cronenberg glass, haven't we? We'll give them a try, yeah. Well, they have an idea. Sometimes you get some gems. Take that bottle top off slowly for you because we don't want to upset the Welshman. If anyone has any bottle tops that they don't want, do let me know. This Wally, I know. Right. So, I'm pouring that one. As I showed you, there we go. It certainly looks like a Using the lovely blunt glasses. 25cl bottles, but they do, they, you'll notice a lot of the times you get that in Europe for the reason. Do you picture? Yep, I'll do my picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny today. I don't know, women, eh? God dear. One always wonders why George Michael had all them issues. I'll tell you. A month here. Uh, 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 you look radiant today. Thank you. There we go. There's a picture done. Right. So as I say, one's a malt bio, being the Jade. Jade, one of my most favourite names, if I may say. A lovely name, Jade, isn't it? Okay. A very special name. Now I'll tell you what. They're looking almost yeah. identical, aren't they? They're Colour looking... wise, they really are. Yeah, I don't want to hold them both up because I'm bound to get them wrong and then someone's going to point it out after and go, <laughs> you even messed that up. Oh, so that is the jade close up. Um, that if you've been to France, you'll know a lot more about these than us. But it's always nice to try something different. Yeah, so I'm, this is definitely um, unpasteurised. So looking at this, this probably is as well. Yeah. Well, it's, Unfortunately, Paula Vila Francais, apart from Bonjour, Meaning goodbye, my French isn't too good. I know it's got orange and coriander in it because I can tell the difference. Yeah, it's got that sort of Hogarten vibe, this one. This one has. I wasn't picking much up off the aroma. Went straight in to have a taste of it. And it has got that kind of herbal kind of taste to it. I'm not picking up a lot of orange or anything like that, but it has got a real sort of herbal taste. Hmm, it's not bad. Right, um, try this one. Good thing, quite, quite similar. Yeah, they are reasonably similar. Like I say, that herbal kind of taste is running through both of them. And so I'm finding this one to be much more bready. It's Coriander. got a, a, a wheaty, bready kind of taste to it. I don't say coriander in the ingredients. Oh, it does say coriander in the ingredients. Orange coriander. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
and I'm really kind of picking that up, that herbal kind of taste in both of them. Yeah, 4.5%. I mean, what are you going to say here? Um, in my humble opinion, it doesn't appear to have the depth of Blanc mm. or Hogan. Hogan being better than all of them, but it is based on that wheat yeah, beer, the Belgium WIT beer. Mm. Um, they're both based on that. And let's be honest with our friends in France, as we know from some of the recent Cronenbergs we tried, they're sort of like, people laugh at French beer and you're like, well, I've got a really great French beer out there. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> There's very some good. Castle yeah. Lane, the, um, what do you call it, one? On the perfect draft that blew my head off. That was French. Yeah. And everyone thought it was Belgian, but it was actually French. Brewed in northern France or something. And you it? said Castle Lane. Castle Lane, yeah. Not Castle Lane. Not Castle Man, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just, just to be, just to be. Uh, clear I'll get in that. trouble for that, but yeah. <laughs> as I say, this is one of these. It is what it is. It's um. They are. They are definitely based on that kind of vibe, aren't they? Hogan sort of vibe. Um, and it doesn't. What I'm getting with that though, it's quite carbonated. It's a lot more carbonated than what it appears. But the carbonation's actually running through you quite freely. You do have a little bit of creaminess there, although it's not deep, like a yeah, Franz kind of or something. There is a little bit of orange there as well, but it's very subtle. Whereas I'm not really picking up on any fruit flavour with this one. But again, that's quite carbonated. But I mean, what do they probably cost you in France? These are probably a euro a pop. For 25 CL, so you're going to pay two euros for a 500 mil pint. That's not expensive. Obviously, Jamie's probably paid more for them, a bit more. That's how it is, isn't it? Because they've got to be brought over in that. I get, I get where that's coming from and everything. But in all due honesty, neither of them are bad beers. I looked at them, I thought, oh, good, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I must admit, the packaging on these, uh, the design work on the bottle and the label. It's very basic. It's, yeah, it, it is kind of basic. It's not really drawing you in, is it? No, but they're, they're not they're not offensive, are they, in any way, shape or form? I find that both of them are quite pleasant, quite easy drinking. Hmm. If I saw them in France now, I'd be like, oh, I remember yeah. that. That's one of the good things doing beer Which reviews. Which prefer out of the two of them? I'd have to go on the ice ways. Now, see, I'm going on this. I do find that kind of herbal taste to it quite refreshing but as i said i mean buy a beer so halfway as good as you know good for you to mm -hmm. the extent of drinking alcohol like natural, yeah, yeah it's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's kind of like me isn't it health conscious you know <laughs> I say it's health conscious. I think it's such a thing as i'm a health freak as a lot of you know you know i did a, i did a 20 mile run you know i think it is the style of beer that um hasn't got a lot of additives or nasty thrown in, I would imagine that's the case with this. But yeah, I say, they're not going to blow you away. But they're both fair beers. Yeah. You know, um, if you're rating them. Oh, I'm going to give them a fair... Oh, where are we going on this? I'll give them a fair... Rate my beer a seven. Exactly what I was going to do. She likes beating me to it, doesn't she? They, they really are both kind of yeah. they're quite above, nice. They're above average. Quite drinkable, quite pleasant. Would you ask yourself, would I drink them again? Yeah, yeah I would. <laughs> Especially if I was in France. Well, I do want to go to France, don't I? Yeah, you have been looking it's at like, France. My friend lived in France for so long in Nice, and um, I drank German beer there rather than French beer. And now my friend sold, sold his property. There, yeah. <laughs> and we could have gone there. Well, we did go there a couple yeah. of times to stay for free before we did YouTube, obviously. I'm like, no, you've got to pay, and it's a different I mean, board game. It really is expensive, Nice is expensive. But yeah, so. there's, there's nothing <laughs> offensive about these, as I say. I think they're both a fair 7 out of 10. Yep, I've I definitely drank that. better, but I've also drank worse. What can I say? Thanks for watching, and bonjour.